Hi, welcome to Fit by Kelly. I'm Kelly, and that's Maxwell there behind me. Thanks for joining this class. This class is a yoga strength class. We'll use some very light weights, get some between three and five pound weights, two dumbbells. And this is about a 30 minute practice. The finisher is a crunch challenge, a nine minute crunch challenge. So stick around and let's get to it. Seated on your mat, sit up well, cross your legs comfortably, ankles underneath your thighs or your knees. Inhale, reach your arms up, let's set the pace of class, the tempo of class with your breathing and your movement. Exhale, touch the floor with your fingertips, and then inhale and reach up and put your palms together over your head, touch lightly. Exhale, tap the floor, making that connection with the earth. Inhale, reach up overhead, palms together, making that connection with yourselves. Exhale, inhale and reach. So through the practice, think about your movement, the length of the movement, and the length of your breath. Exhale, inhale and reach up again. Twist to the side. You can twist the same direction as I am. Put your hand on the outside of your leg and look over your shoulder. Take an extra breath of air in. And then exhale. Inhale and reach your arms up and stretch overhead. Exhale. Place the hands on the outside of your leg, fingertips behind. Look over your shoulder. Inhale. Reach your arms up. And lean over to this side, put your hand on the floor, walk your fingers out a little bit further, reach up and over, keep your glutes on the floor, look up underneath your arm, take a deep breath in, exhale, inhale, reach both arms up, and then the, other, the opposite side, walk your fingers out right there, draw your elbow in, and reach the arm over the ear, reach the glute towards the ground on the other side. Inhale and reach both arms up and stretch. Exhale, come to, extend your legs forward on your mat and grab your light dumbbells and lower down toward to the floor, head on the floor. And we're just gonna start with a warm up dead bug. Both arms holding two weights, so legs to Separate it just slightly and bend your knees and you can flex your feet right there. And we're just gonna reach opposing limbs at the same time and then do two crunches in the center. So you'll extend the leg, extend the arm, reach, look up, and then bring it up and do two crunches. Do the other side. Right leg, left arm, center, two crunches. Left leg, right arm, center, two crunches, left, right, two crunches, left, right, two crunches, left, right, two crunches, and then two more, crunch, one more time, other side, crunch, and then lower the weights down, place the weights on the floor, grab your knees and pull them into your body and rock from side to side and make a circle with the hips or with the legs. So I'm holding my knees and I'm drawing an imaginary circle with my knees, making it wide and then far, pulling it in near now go the opposite direction just three times. Three, two, and then one, and hold. Bring your feet up straight and flex your feet. <laughs> flex your feet down, bend your knees, and separate your legs, hands on the outside of the feet lumbar back stretch or lower body stretch right here. So hold the edges of your feet and then rock from side to side, easing any lower back tension you may have from the strength training workouts you may be doing. Always try to have an active recovery day on in between your strength training days. 
Now cross your ankles and roll up. Come onto your hands and your knees. Round your back and then lower down. Cat pose to camel pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, camel. Exhale, cat. Inhale. And then exhale. And then move your weights to forward towards the front of your mat like that on either side. And then reach your hands forward. Look between your thumbs and bring your glutes to your heels right there. So sinking your chest towards the ground through your triceps stretch right there, the glutes, the lower back stretch. Now lift up and you're just gonna shift your body forward, your whole body forward and stretch the thighs. Don't lower your, or bend your elbows. Just keep your arms straight, hips go back. We'll just pivot forward and back. So keep the arms straight and reach the hips towards the ground. And maybe put your feet down flat, so the top of your feet on the floor. Shift forward, arms straight, reach the hips towards the ground. Press the feet down. Lengthening the body. Look forward when you reach the hips towards the floor carefully. Two more times. One more time. And then walk your hands in, about a handprint, tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. The next part of the warm up, inhale, lift your right leg up, three limb dog. Step your right foot forward, this should be familiar. Set your knee down, inhale, reach your arms up. Then exhale, place your left hand on the floor, reach your right arm up, stretch. And now move your foot over, turn your toes out slightly, and curl under the arm. And maybe you can tap the elbow to the floor and then reach up. We're just gonna do that two more times. You need to have your hip shifting forward or your, your, your left thigh shifting forward one more time. And now do a hamstring stretch. Flex your foot in the front and draw the heel in. Walk your hands forward, flat back right there. Nicely done. Now point your toes. I know that's a hard stretch. The top of your foot stretch. Now set your foot down flat, lift up your knee, and we're gonna go to the long edge of the mat, edge of the mat, inner thigh stretch right there. Keep your hips at the same level as you shift the hip, the leg side to side. Feel the inner thigh stretch right there. Do it again. Press your foot down, reach to the side, and bring it to the front again. Turn your body, press your hands down into the ground, lift up your right leg, downward facing dog. Left leg up, inhale, lift, press the floor away, step your left foot forward, set your knee down. So we're spending a little more time in these poses as we warm up the body. We'll pick up the pace after this this sequence. Exhale, place your right hand on the floor, walk your left foot over and turn your foot at an angle and you can kind of press your hand on the inner thigh right there. Then lift up and reach the left arm and then rotate under, point your elbow to the ground or tap the elbow to the ground. Reach and touch or point the elbow to the ground. Do it again. Inhale, reach. Place your hands on the floor, move that foot in, flex your foot, press the heel down, flatten your back, walk your hands forward if you can, that's tough. Set your foot down flat, lift your right knee, and skandasana or lunge to the back of the mat. So the yogi word is skandasana, or call it a lateral lunge side to side, inner thighs. One more time to the front. And then turn, press into the floor, downward facing dog. Look forward, bend your knees and step forward. 
Inhale, lengthen, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale and stand tall. So reach all the way up, stretch overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Let's go through two sun salutations to seal the deal of the warm up, to really finish the warm up. Inhale, reach your arms up, soften your knees. Exhale, fold over your body. Right there. Lengthen, look forward, place the hands on the shins. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank. Lower down to your mat all the way. Put the top of your feet down, press the pelvis down, press into your hands, cobra pose. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Palms together overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Second time, inhale, reach up. Sun salutation A. Exhale, fold over. Lengthen and look forward. You can press into your shins or fingertips to the floor. Exhale, fold. Step back, left leg, right leg. Plank, straight plank. Squeeze the thighs, lower down. Elbows drawn into the sides. Put the top of the feet down. Press the pelvis down. Pull your shoulders down and look forward. Cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, push off the ground, and downward facing dog. Beautiful. Look forward, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale and reach up and stretch overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders back, our shoulders relaxed. Now let's balance on your left leg. So left leg, standing leg. Lift up the right knee, so stay with me. Extend the leg straight. I know that's hard. There's your hip flexor strength right there, quad strength. Reach your arms out to the sides. Turn your palms up. Sweep your leg down. Try not to touch the floor unless you have to. And sweep through and reach the leg back. And as you do that, turn your palms facing down. That leg lifts up straight, warrior three or airplane. Then set your foot on the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, set your right knee on the floor. Grab your weights, grab your hand weights. Keep your knee on the floor right there, and you can keep your toes tucked under or put the top of your foot down flat. Curl right here, pull your abs in, curl, and then extend back straight. Curl, so low lunge position for curl and extension of the arms. Biceps and then triceps. And now pulse it two, one, pulse back two, one, do it again, pulse two, one, and pulse back two, one. Forward two, one, and back two, one. Bring it forward and back. And now three pulses, three, two, one, and back three two, one, again, and then extend back, three, two, one, now four count pulse, four, three, two, one, bring it back, four, three, two, one, and forward, four, three, two, one, bring it back, four, three, two, one, bring those weights in, tuck your toes under, lift your right knee, and bring that right knee up, 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 balance. Extend the leg straight and lower. Set your foot down. Shake it off. Other side. Lift up your standing and balancing in the right leg. Left knee up. Hold the weight strong. Elbows just slightly bent. Then reach the arms. Set your foot down. Set the weights down on your mat. Inhale, set your weights down on your mat. <laughs> Lift up your, your left knee this time. Reach your arms to the sides. Palms facing up right there so that externally rotates your shoulders. Extend the legs straight. Hold, just pause for a breath. And then exhale, sweep that leg through and turn your palms facing down. 
Lean forward, leg goes back straight. Nicely done. And then set your foot on the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your knee to the ground. Grab your weights. Curl. So you're in a 90-90 position with both knees. So forward knee over your ankle, the back knee underneath your hip. Curl and press. Curl and press. Do it again two more times. Pull your abs in. Now two count pulse. Two, one, and then bring it back. Two, one, forward. Two, one, and back. Two, one. Now pulse three. Three, two, one, and back. Three, two, one, forward. And back. And now four count. Here's four, three, two, one, and back. Four, three, two, one more time. Four, three, two, one, and back. Four, three, two, and one. Set your weights on the ground or on the mat. Lift up your knee. Get your balance. Hands at your hips or arms out. Lift up your left knee. Up. Extend the leg straight. Lower your leg. Nicely done. Move the weights forward. We'll come back to that in a moment. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold over the body. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step back with your right leg, left leg, going through a vinyasa. Lower down to the mat. Put the top of your feet down, press the pelvis down, draw your elbows in, lift up your chest, cobra. Lower first, then tuck your toes, push off the ground. Downward facing dog. Step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, and reach your arms up. Stretch overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Standing in your left leg, lift up the right. So balance again. Reach the arms out to the sides. Coming into airplane, turn your palms up. Extend the legs straight right there. Now sweep down and through. Turn your palms down as the leg goes back. Right there, look down at the floor. Straighten both legs, point your toes to the floor. And then set your foot on the floor. Inhale, crescent pose. We're gonna take this to a twist. Move that left foot over some. Extend the back leg. Knee over ankle in the front, bring the hands to the heart. Hinge your body forward. Now just tip the, or turn the shoulders and Tap the elbow to the outside of your leg right there. So if you shift forward, you have more ability to get the, the elbow to the outside of the knee and just gently twisting the spine. Now look forward, inhale, reach up. Little change, so listen up. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground, press into the floor, three limb dog, left leg goes up right there. So three limb dog, reach the right heel to the floor. Then walk your hands back with that leg up right there. Just a couple of hand prints. Set your heel down, left toes pointing down, and then half moon pose, reach the right arm up and stretch overhead. Breathe. Bring your hand down to the ground again. Walk your hands forward, three limb dog. Step your left foot forward. Crescent pose, look forward, inhale, reach up. Stretch overhead, exhale, arms to the sides, lift up that right knee, extend the left leg, the right leg forward, and then lower. Nicely done, let's do the other side. So listen, inhale, arms to the side, left knee up, right there. Extend the leg straight, turn your palms up, yes. Now bring the leg back, turn your palms down, airplane, airplane, make it a good airplane, set your foot on the floor, coming to a twist or revolved crescent pose, lift your heel up in the back, bring your hands to your heart, lean your chest forward or hinge forward at the hips and then turn, elbow taps the top of the leg or you can come a little bit lower 
elbow comes to the outside of your knee and look to the side, palms together. Untwist, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, place your hands on the ground. Lift up the right leg, three limb dog, right there. Keep your leg up, just walk your hands back about two handprints so that your left heel lowers to the ground. And then you're in this warrior three type position and lift up the left arm so revolved half moon. Breathe. Left hand to the floor just for a moment, just for the picture. <laughs> just kidding. Walk is not about perfection at all, but moving with, with intention. Step your right foot forward, crescent pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, arms to the sides, left knee up. Extend the leg forward and lower. Let's do it again. One on each side. So now we'll move with our breath. If you get lost, just try to catch up. Arms out to the sides. Lift up your right knee. Turn your palms up. Extend the leg straight. Sweep the leg back. Turn your palms down. Reach the leg back. Airplane, hold. Exhale, set your foot on the floor. Crescent pose. Inhale, reach up. Bring your palms together. Exhale to the heart. Inhale. Hinge forward, exhale, and then twist. Take a breath in in the twist. And then exhale, reach your arms up. Place your hands on the floor. Three limb dog, left leg up. Nicely done. Now walk your hands back so that your right foot, right heel comes to the ground. Revolved half moon, so lift up the right arm. Balancing, press your toes down, your fingers down. Exhale, bring your hand to the floor. Walk your hands forward. Three limb dog, lift up the right heel. Step your left foot forward. Crescent pose again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart as you lift the right knee up. Extend forward and lower. Other side. Have some fun here, guys. Loosen up, arms to the side. Left leg up. Extend the leg straight. Palms facing down as you reach the leg back. Airplane, press the toes down. Look at the ground. Now set your foot on the floor. Inhale, reach up. Steady your pace with your breathing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Lean in. Turn your body. Look to the side. Nicely done. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Three limb dog. Right leg goes up right there. Walk your hands back so that your left heel comes to the ground. And your right leg is straight. Lift the left arm up. Revolved half moon right there. Set your hand on the floor. Walk your hands forward. Lifting up that left heel. Step your right foot forward. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Stretch overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart, lift up your knee, extend the leg straight, and then lower. Nicely done. Malasana. So toes turning out one direction, bend your knees, elbows to the inside of the knees right there, and lighten up, <laughs> release your, your shoulders down from your ears. So relax the shoulders. Press into your feet. You're feeling your, your legs work right here. Now we're just going to practice hands on the floor, and you're just going to lean in. When you lean in, with your feet separated, squeeze your knees into your arms. All right? So then lean back onto your heels again. Palms to your heart. You can stay here or practice with me. Bring your feet close together first. Heels to touch. My toes are turned out, and I'm pressing into the balls of my feet right here. And just... Strengthen the ankles, three breaths right here. Inhale, lift up your heart, exhale. Relax the shoulders, inhale, exhale. This time, inhale, and then exhale. Place your hands in front of you, in front of your, your knees, arms straight. And now lift up your hips, not too high, but get your knees 
behind your upper outer arms. Then I'm going to reach my elbows to the sides as I press my arms in, then plant my hands, then pull my elbows in towards each other, and then look forward at something, and then lift up, press, rounding the back, lift your right foot, set it down, left foot, set it down, set your heels down, and stand up. Inhale, reach up. We'll do that one more time. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart, feet together. Practice coming down into a squat position on the balls of your feet. So reach your arms forward, that helps. Lift your heels, lower down, squeeze the legs together, all the way. How is that? Now separate your knees, plant your hands on either or in front of the knees. Get your, lift up your hips just a little. Get your arms in underneath, in front of the knees and the shins. Now press the, the back of the arms into the knees, pull the elbows in, and press your fingertips down into the ground, lean in, and extend the arms straight around the back, lift your toes. And then set your toes down, nicely done, and sit on the floor. Come to a seated position, and let's close class together the same way we started. Cross your legs, inhale, reach up, exhale, turn, inhale, reach up, exhale, turn the other way, inhale and reach up. Now let's lean over, hand on the floor, walk your hand out and reach up and over, press your glute to the, hip, to the floor, draw your head back, inhale, reach up, exhale, walk your hand out, elbow draws in, reach the arm over the ear, and then place your hand on the floor. One final stretch for the inner thighs. Bring your feet together like this, and you can have your feet further away from the groin. That's easier. Closer ends harder or a little more of a stretch for the inner thighs. Grab your feet and lean forward. Drop the head all the way over. Wiggle back and forth a little bit so that you can get evenly on the glutes, and maybe you can bring your head all the way down to your toes. Breathe. Inhale and lift up, and 90-90 stretch, right shin forward, left shin side, or vice versa. Press your knee down, press this knee down, and look forward and just sit up tall. If you have to lean, that's fine, but then press and just lift up. Don't bend the body, but straighten the, the body over the hips right here. And you can hold your knee on this side and pull just slightly. And now reach your chest forward, look at the floor. Inhale and lift up, and let's change sides. So tip the knees over the opposite direction. <clears throat> Helps to have the knees on the soft mat. Knee presses down, knee presses down, and then look towards the forward leg. Hold this knee right here and straighten up your body. If you need to lean, that's okay, but then just keep pushing and stretching right there and hold. Press your knee down, press your knee down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one. Now lift your knees. Tip your knees side to side. And then cross your ankles, setting the timer for the nine-minute crunch challenge. Session. All right, so to begin, bend your knees 90 degrees. Your arms are straight up like this. Hold the weight in one hand. And then you're going to reach the right arm and left leg and bring it back up. Do that again. And press your lower back into the floor. So it's a unilateral a dead bug. Each move we'll do for 20 seconds. 
and then hold. Now bring your hands down, change your grip, and do the other side. So reach the left arm, right leg. So coordinating the move, dead bug, moving in opposition with your limbs. Bring it back. Nice. All right, let's do that one more time on the other side. Keep your legs up. Reach. Same thing. And I'm not tapping the floor. I'm just reaching overhead and reaching the leg. And now let's change sides. Change your grip with the weight low, not with it up high. Here we go. So reach. So opposite arm up straight. Opposite knee stays static. That's the key here. Press the lower back. Two rounds on each of the moves, and most of the moves have a right and the left side. Nicely done. Now, both feet on the floor, reach one weight up, up and down, lift. And my opposite hand, I'm just hovering over the floor on the side, reach and down, crunch, one side, feet on the floor, lift, up, single arm crunch, and now change sides, slow and controlled. Reach and lower, hover the other arm, up, straight up, reach that weight. One side crunch, up, up, lift. And second round, hover the opposite arm, one arm up and pulse. Let's change the tempo right here. Go pulse, 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 and one single, pulse. And then one single pulse. And then change your grip. Hover the opposite arm. And here we go. So three, two, one, and one slow. Three, two, one, and come down slow. Three, two, one, come down slow. Do it again. Three, two, one. One, come down slow. Three, two, one. Nicely done. Change your grip at the bottom. Bring your left leg out straight, right leg up. Hold the weight in your left hand with your right leg straight, and you're going to reach up towards that foot. Hover the opposite hand. Reach and reach. Maybe you can touch the toes with the end of the dumbbell. Crunch, crunch. My opposite leg is on the floor. Slowly lower that leg. Change your grip, other hand. Lift and lower. Up, down, lift. Straight legs. Hover the opposite hand. Up. Touch. Lift up. Do it again. And relax. Change sides. One more time, up, lower, up, lift up, shoulder blades off the floor when you lift, up, again, lift, legs straight up, nice, chain sides, opposite leg up, here you go, L lift, lift, up, up. Reach, crunch, cross body, reach. One more. Nicely done. Right ankle on left knee, across the body. And then try to do this. Bring your knee in and touch the elbow. Extend the leg. So one side bicycle. Touch. Touch. 
and then change sides. Opposite ankle on the knee. Across and touch the knee to the elbow. Tap the elbow to the floor. Reach. And now change sides again. One more round, elbow to knee, touch. Touch the elbow all the way over, touch that knee, even if you have to bring your knee in just slightly. A little more effort when you're reaching over and you make that connection. And relax. Bicycle, elbow to knee, reach, touch. Making our way, almost there. Touch, touch, touch. Almost there. Touch, touch. Rest. Just a moment. One more round. Touch. Lift your legs up higher if you feel like it's a strain on your lower back or your legs. Otherwise, legs out. Parallel to the floor, touch. Opposite elbow comes to the ground, three, two, and one, and then roll up, carefully coming into, onto your hands and your knees, and we'll finish the last one, bird dog. Elbow, touch your knee, reach, straight arm, straight leg, and bring that arm up near the ear, touch. Elbow to knee, reach, change sides. Opposite arm, leg, bring it in. Spread your fingers, touch, reach, extension. Spread your fingers, press your fingertips down into your mat, reach. And then reach the arm, reach the leg. Touch, reach, touch, and then reach. Bring it in. Elbow touches your knee, reach. And set your hand down. Last one, leg, arm, elbow in. Extend the leg straight, reach the arm, slow it down if you need to. Press your fingertips down, in and reach. And then one more thing, tuck your toes, lift your knees. Slow mountain climber. Just one of these to finish off the core ab crunch challenge, so crunch, knee in, crunch. One more, and you're done. And then roll up, tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk your hands to your feet, hands to the shins, lengthen and look forward. Exhale, fold, inhale and stand tall, rise, bring the palms together overhead, bring the edge of the hands to the brow, and gratitude, edge of the hands to the heart, and thanks. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for doing this practice with me. Let me know how you are and if you have any questions, and I'll see you again next time.